Are you struggling with ugly stages in your art? What are they and why are they important? Yep, important. To find out more, keep watching. Plus, I will share with you some of my own tips to work through and overcome those horrid, ugly stages. Hi there, my name is Pietru and this is the Artifix 23 Studio. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and remember to ring the bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload new art videos. If you have been creating art or craft, I'm very sure that you've heard about the term ugly stages before. But what are ugly stages? Basically, that's the point we reach when we look at what we've done and all we want to do is throw it in the bin and start all over. We feel that it's not progressing the way we intended it and that there's no way of saving the mess we've made. Oftentimes we're off to a good start and we feel encouraged and, ex and excited about the end result. Then the blocking in stages start where we lay down and block in pigment for the underlayers. And before we know it, we look at what we've done and it looks like a big mess and we just want to run and hide from it. This blocking in and blending of layers are what's referred to as the ugly stages. Now, are these ugly stages important and why? Yes, they are very important and here's why. Let me explain by using an analogy of building a house. When we build a house, we obviously start with a foundation and after that the, the bricks, the plumbing, the frames and the electrical wiring and everything needs to go in. It goes in in stages. Not very pretty to look at at, in, at this point of the process. What I mean is we're not going to put decorations and pretty things on um, a wonky structure or an unfinished building. But once all of that is done and the house has a roof and a solid structure, we can start decorating it with paint and pretty ornaments and all sorts of decorations on the inside and out. Now let's get back to art. We need to build a solid foundation to be able to render the artwork that we have in mind. It's no use trying to put in the fine details and make it look pretty and nice before we even finished the construction of the overall piece. The construction refers to the blocking in stages. Blocking in, blending out, blocking in again, blending out. These are your building blocks for the final piece and only once all of that is done it's finally time to add the details. Okay, let me share with you some of my own tips for working through and overcoming those ugly stages. Tip number one is to take a step back. Oftentimes we get so involved with what we're doing that we forget to look at what we've done from a distance. There's that 20 minute rule in art where you take a break every 20 or 30 minutes, whatever works for you. But walk away, go and do something else for a few minutes and then come back and look at what you've done with fresh eyes. You'll be surprised to see what you've accomplished already and also it might just save your work from ending up in the bin. Another thing I like to do is to take a picture. It's amazing how much better the artwork looks um, on a small screen and how you can immediately spot areas that needs more work and also areas to be left alone. My third and final tip might seem a little bit obvious, but it is to just keep going. Take your time, not only with your artwork, but also with yourself. For me, every piece of art that I create is an opportunity to grow and learn. And by just pushing through an ugly stage, it will teach you more about yourself as an artist as well as improve your drawing and painting skills in my experience. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful in your daily art endeavors. Feel free to leave a comment down below with your own experiences um, with those ugly stages and maybe if you have any tips to share with us. I will see you next time and as always remember to follow your art.